Hey there and a warm welcome to Get Indie Gaming. We're back after a long summer vacation with a fresh outlook on things and also a new Patreon. So if you're able, please consider supporting our work over on that platform and in return, we'll provide you with a unique insight and content you just can't find anywhere else. In today's video, we're going back into our Kickstarter series and checking out some of the games on the platform that might be of interest. To us, this month is one of the strongest we've seen this past year. With that little teaser, let's jump straight into the action. Up first, and in no real particular order, this countdown for August 2020, we have Duru, a game we first spotted at EGX Berlin towards, no pun intended, the tail end of last year. Upon first seeing it, we thought it was going to be another reasonably adorable, cute, non-offensive platformer. However, upon closer inspection, well, that's not quite the case. While Duru is a colourful 2D platformer, its primary focus is to raise awareness about depression and anxiety, and is the first game from Twisted Ramble, an indie studio based out of Germany consisting of three women who met while at college. In Duru, you play as Thule, a mole rat suffering from depression and anxiety, with these visualised by an AI companion, a six-legged take on the dog-like figure that's often spoken about when discussing the condition. Perhaps naturally enough, this companion works with and against you as you play, with the overall story telling a tale about struggle with insecurities, darkness and friendship. Much of the game's focus is said to be on the misunderstandings that can happen in everyday social settings with somebody suffering from depression. The developers are hoping this game will raise awareness and show how people might learn more about the illness and better equip themselves to help others who may be suffering from it. As of writing, this campaign is looking to raise 15,000 euros with 20 or so days to go. They've brought in just under 9,000, so there's a good chance this will be successfully funded. This one's expected out towards the end of the year on PC and perhaps the Switch at a later date. Up next, Beasts of Maravilla has already crossed the line, so to speak, and as this video airs, it's raised more than double its initial target of 10,000 US dollars. Now, this game really is quite different, and it's honestly a real joy to see it, with it being touted as a magic wildlife photography game set, funnily enough, on the magical island of Maravilla. It's a 3D adventure game where you take on the role of a young wildlife photographer who sets out to travel across the island to discover and photograph the island's extraordinary creatures and learn their behaviours. The BBC Planet Earth documentary series, as well as the wildlife photography you can find within the National Geographic magazines are the game's biggest inspirations, as are other titles such as Abzu, Breath of the Wild and Pokemon Snap. There are 40 unique characters to find spread out across three different zones. Success, however, isn't just a matter of snapping the creatures. To be successful, you need to take that perfect shot with you using your grandfather's journal, acting as a guide in how to successfully solve puzzles, such as how to use the island's light or sounds and much more besides to help frame the perfect composition. Rather finally, there's a demo where you can pick up and have a little taster and it's honestly well worth doing. Like all the games in this rundown, there's a link to the game's funding page down there in the description. Moving on and up next, we have another ever so wholesome looking game. The Kind Chamomile is about random acts of kindness, and like the previous game in this countdown, it's also all about the joys of discovery. You'll play as Chamomile, a kind and helpful mouse, who goes about their business collecting goodies from around the island by helping those in need and in so doing, you'll fill your gift basket for Grandma Rosie's 100th birthday. There's a demo which can be picked up via Steam and on Itch. To play the kind of Chamomile even in the state of the demo is an experience of peacefulness and mindfulness. We suspect the finished product, which is due out towards the summer of August 2021, should be right up there with the likes of a short hike in its all-round feel-goodness factor. The developer is hoping to bring this also to the Switch at some point, although for now at least, it'll be first out on the PC. Up now and another game that's already reached its goal of 10,000 US dollars to ensure release on all of the main consoles and PC at some point next year, we have The Girl from Arcania. As you can see, it's a 2D pixel art adventure RPG where you play as a wannabe treasure seeker called Marissa, who by the looks of things has her own capybara companion. At various points, players will need to control both characters with you heading off to discover various places within the so-called wilds of Amazonia, which of course will be cruel and unforgiving. Much of this will be familiar to many of you, with this one using many similar and familiar aspects of gameplay that you'll have seen quite a few times before. 
All that being said, the pixel art looks pretty darn on point, and while it might appear all 16-bit in nature, this isn't the case, particularly within the sound and music departments. Having already brought in just over $16,000 US dollars as this video airs, stretch goals include pixel art cutscenes, at 30 grand yet more cutscenes and an additional dungeon, and at 40 grand a free expansion pack that'll offer an additional overworld and two more dungeons, with this being free for backers. The Girl of Arcania has until September the 3rd, and will you be looking to back this or any other game in the countdown? If so, be sure to let us know down in the comments, and if you could give us a like, that would be also wicked too, as it certainly helps this video and the channel overall. We've never cancelled the Volks Fest before. And finally for this month's Kickstarter countdown, Geo2 Intergalactic Mining Company is a pretty unique looking roguelite that will also offer players crafting and base building mechanics. The idea is to head on into uncharted space and while doing, discover a universe of locations to explore and exploit for riches. The more you do, the more cash you make, which in turn allows you to expand your HQ, hire new workers and upgrade your equipment. In Geo2, pretty much everything you find from the soil to the ground to parts of planet's cores have value and you'll be able to record everything you find for prosperity and perhaps bragging rights. The artwork is hand drawn throughout, with Geo2 also coming with a colourful and original soundtrack. Geo2 had a funding goal of 4,000 UK pounds, and the team have brought in just a little over 5 grand, so with 18 days to go, it feels certain the game will continue to find support with the money being used to help the overall development of the game. At the moment this video airs, there are no listed stretch goals, although that might change before the campaign ends on August the 27th. Many thanks for watching, and once more a huge thank you to all of our Patreons for supporting our work here on Get Indie Gaming. If you'd like to know more about this little project, please click the link in the description or on screen now, and perhaps consider joining our indie gaming community over on Patreon. There you'll get content and access to us that you just can't get anywhere else. All the best, again cheers for watching, and we'll see you all again here soon for more indie game videos.